Let's do this. Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about some new Modern Warfare Remastered updates on basically things that uh, Raven Software is changing for the better from the fans' feedback. And uh, all in all, I'm just so pumped that these guys are listening to the fan feedback and, you know, we're getting that hashtag make Cod great again. But uh, earlier today on Wendell Wobble's Twitter, as you guys will see by this image popping up on screen here, he announced that the multiplayer announcers from the original Call of Duty 4 will now be in Modern Warfare Remastered. And that's one thing that I have been asking for so much over the last few weeks is to get the original casters. You know, the guys, like I said, at the very start of the video, you guys heard uh, Gaz say, let's do this. Just simple things like that. The original Call of Duty commentators, when you're playing in game, when you hear people at the start of the match, you know, let's do this, let's get it done, stuff like that. Enemy UAV is airborne. The original commentators that did all that stuff were absolutely amazing. They're so much better than what they had in Modern Warfare Remastered at Call of Duty XP. So that is pretty freaking awesome that they're actually listening to us, listening to the fans, and they are going to make COD great again. This is absolutely awesome. Okay, so one of the other updates that he put up on September 25th, which would have been two days ago, um, all creative class items will be unlocked in private match. I'm not sure if that's how it was in the original Call of Duty 4 or not. I believe it was. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, a couple days before that, he did announce that all the playlists from the original Call of Duty 4 will be in Modern Warfare Remastered, plus additional ones. So you get those hardcore COD 4 fans that want the game exactly the same, all the game modes from Call of Duty 4, like Headquarters. Headquarters isn't even a game type anymore. Um, you know, you're going to have your Mercenary Mosh, or not Mosh Pit, uh, Mercenary Team Deathmatch. You're going to have Cage Match. You're going to have Hardcore. You're going to have Old School Mode, where basically you had to run around and pick up perks and pick up weapons off the ground. Like, that was straight up Call of Duty 4. It never made it past that. You know, we get the original Call of Duty 4 game modes, and then by saying that there's going to be plus additional ones, so we're probably going to be seeing like a modern playlist. So you're going to probably see some sort of a kill confirmed. You're going to see infected. You might see some party games, you know, maybe like a one in the chamber style thing. You know, you never know. Um, that'd be cool if they pulled some of that stuff and made it uh, so you had a lot of basically the most game modes out of any Call of Duty. You know, pull some from Treyarch, pull some from Infinity Ward and stuff like that. Probably we, we probably will see Hardpoint just because Hardpoint is a big thing nowadays. And uh, it's it's one of the biggest game modes that anybody plays nowadays. So and then the last thing is strafe jumping. So back in the day, you couldn't jump over an object unless you were basically running towards it, like it's in front of you. And then in Modern Warfare, or excuse me, not Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 3, they made it so that you could basically jump over obstacles if you jump, use the jump button while you were strafing. They are going to put that in Call of Duty 4 Remastered, which honestly, I'm not complaining about that. That is actually one of the core movement features of nowadays that just makes it so you can move around the map a little bit easier, and I'm really excited to see that in Modern Warfare Remastered. It should make, you know, moving around the map a little bit easier, especially because the fact you can't jump over things like you can in Black Ops 3. You have to just mantle over objects, and it is a slow process. And being the fact that you could be engaging in a gunfight, and while you're strafing, you can jump up over an object, that'll make it really convenient, and it'll probably help out a lot of gunfights and stuff like that. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to update you guys on some of the awesome Call of Duty news that came out over the last few days about Modern Warfare Remastered. But on a side note, before this video is over, I do want to say, if you guys haven't seen yet, Call of Duty World at War is now a backwards compatible game on the Xbox One. So if you previously owned and you still have the disc for Call of Duty World at War, you just pop the disc in your Xbox One and you can download it and then you can basically play a backwards compatible. So you're still playing on Xbox 360 servers. There's probably still going to be hackers and stuff like that. But if your Xbox 360 took a crap and you don't have it anymore or you want to be able to play it with some of your friends that have Xbox Ones and stuff like that, it is on the dashboard um, or on the in the store to download or if you have the disc still you just pop that disc in there and you can play Call of Duty World at War on the Xbox One. Honestly, probably later on this week I'll try to get some gameplay of that um, as long as it's not full of hackers. I did just pick up Forza Horizon 3 today so I am probably going to be playing some of that and uploading some of that content to my channel. But that is all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, hopefully you guys are as excited as I am about Modern Warfare Remastered, especially with all these great changes that uh, Raven Software is doing for this game. I am super, super pumped for this for this game. It's going to be so exciting. But, uh, you know, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like. It really helps me out, and it only takes a second. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Call of Duty content in the near and upcoming future. 
thank you so much for watching guys i will see you next time peace out